Welcome to the show, everyone. As you all know, uh, I talk about everybody else on this show, and I, I think everybody else also knows that I love my show very much, and I do love it, and that's because of all the information that people get when they listen to this uh, show. And so maybe it's you or someone that you know. That's what networking is all about, and that's what I tell people. Tell somebody about it if it's not for you. Um, we are live on Facebook, so I do want to say hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us, and we will share the show later on. So my first guest has been on with me now. Ken, I think it's like over a year that you've been on this show. I think Close so. into two years we're getting there. Maybe. And I have with me Ken Kilday, and Ken is an executive business coach. You're a strategist. I want, and every time you come on, it doesn't matter, you have to tell everybody a little bit about yourself. You have some kudos for you that I want to talk about too, but welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having me, Carol. Yeah, so uh, you always want to know where I came from uh, in business. So <laughs> I used to be, I've been a coach now for five years. I started my practice about five years ago. I came out of executive leadership uh, in financial services specifically, but um, when I left corporate life, I thought, you know, I would like to spend a lot more of my time developing helping other people um, through some obstacles that I encountered along the way, uh, and then uh, uh, other issues that they may, may be hitting. So I created a firm to bring clarity, uh, direction, simplicity for leaders and their teams. That's that's what I do. And you just recently got another certification. Another and certification. I want to listen up, everyone, because, you know, <coughs> there's coaches. And there's coaches, sure. and there's a reason why you do what you do, and let's talk about that. Yeah, so in my in my prior industry, we used to say that you know anybody could call themselves a financial advisor. Uh, mm -hmm. However, to be a certified financial planner, that was a distinction. So in my current profession and in my firm, anyone can call themselves a coach, uh, but a very small amount of us can call us a professional certified coach from the International Coaching Federation. Wow, that's, that's a handful. That's a, that's a mouthful. Yeah. And some. So yeah, that was it, it's <coughs> taken about a year. Uh, it, it's, uh, there's some criteria to it, which is why it's called the gold standard of the industry. It required, um, it requires 125 hours of, of coursework. I took 192. Uh, I had to document 500 or more hours of coaching while I was in class during wow. that, that period of time. And then we have to sit for a proctored exam and prove that, um, prove that we can apply what we've learned in the nuances of coaching. So that's that's the newest certification, and on the way, the the underlying coursework um, that I also became uh, to support my PCC designation, I became a certified executive coach, certified organizational development coach, certified conflict management coach, and certified personal development coach. Wow! So if you're looking for a coach, yeah. Ken is the person to call. Absolutely. You're also an author. I want mm -hmm. to talk about your book, and I also want to talk about your program that you have launch this year mm -hmm. okay. yes so um, we my, my team and I we launched uh, it's a resource page uh, it's not the main page of the site it's a resource page at making the cut dot biz and the whole intention behind it is to give all of you a starting place it, a lot of business owners leaders don't know if they want to work with a coach so we put out a lot of information and a lot of resource and a lot of material so that you can get a sense for what's in it for you uh, and some practical guides, some calculators, some curriculum. You can start in any place you want to start. And the answer that to, to the question Carol's going to uh, ask me pretty quickly here is start where you need to start. Uh, there are there are quite a few modules in the academy. In my book, the six silver bullets to help any business any business grow fast. You don't have to start at number one. You can actually start wherever you happen to be in your business that you feel like there's a little friction behind that. And, well, what I love about it is on the top of the page is everything that you get. Mm -hmm. And you can explain that sure. so that they see. Because when you want, you want to go on to the web, his website, which is uh, makingthecut.biz, and you can go there and check him out and all that. But what I want to see is everything that goes with this. It's amazing. Go ahead. So uh, one place you can start is the Profit Equation Calculator. It's a real-time calculator. So what you can do, business owners, is take a look at uh, how are you measuring the success of your business, and then play. So you, you, you know, let's say you, your uh, conversion rate uh, improves by 10%. Improve just one thing by 10% and see what that does to the bottom line. And then start to make small improvements to each one of the criteria. 
and just watch the hu huge impact it can have to your bottom line by making small improvements that you put into place consistently. And that's what coaches help <coughs> you do. So if you think of whatever your favorite sport is, if you think of how subtle changes, so think of a, a swing coach in golf is watching a world-class golfer and suggests, suggests that she moves her elbow mm, maybe a half an inch, uh, that can make that can make a million dollar difference to a golfer. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you're trying to do in your business, you're trying to make million dollar differences by small subtle changes that you apply consistently over time. Well, you say it, you say the small changes make big impact. Absolutely. It's the big impact that you, the ending that you want. But it's the little things that you do on the way, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, also your book, I want to talk a little bit about that because uh, that's also on this that you get as well. Let's talk about the six silver bullets that you can grow your business with, right? Go ahead. Yeah, it's an ebook, so you get it electronically, you get a PDF version sent to you. Uh, and then you're also entered into a, a 23 e coaching email series that you can put in a folder. It'll come about every three days, but you take it at your own pace. <coughs> this is completely, um, you, you create your own adventure when it comes to all the resources that we provide you at, Le at Leaders Cut, my business is called Leaders Cut. So all of the resources we provide, you take it at your pace, uh, and you'll know what your pace is. As, as you get into it, if you feel a resistance, that's something that maybe you need to spend a little time with, because it's speaking to you. And I'm not telling you that, I'm saying you're telling yourself that. Uh, l listen to yourself, listen to your gut. You got into business for a reason, you trusted your gut the whole way, uh, you know that it has served you well, so as you look through these resources, when something is hitting you just right, you know you found something. Go to the website, it's makingthecut.biz. You can also call them at 602-820-6978 and I want to open up the line to the audience for the book. Can we do that again? We can do that again. And um, again, for, for listeners of your show, Carol, you can get the Academy for free. Wow. You know what? That's awesome. Thank yeah. you for that. Listen up, everyone. He is doing this. We're going to be here for an hour talking about mm -hmm. this. And let me tell you something. Everybody, if you're in business, I don't care. And it doesn't matter what size you are. We, are, we always yeah. have to say that again, yeah. too. You work with solopreneurs and on up. And on up. So a lot, of, a lot of times in business, we tell ourselves a fable that, oh, when I get to uh, five employees, 500 employees, 5,000, then I'll hire a coach. Then I'll get the help I need. So um, how about we, rather than just uh, thinking we have to jump in the deep end and figure it out, um, let's get you whatever resource you need to design the business of your dreams. That's what it's all about. So our lines are, are open here, and we're going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show for this. You're getting it for free from me today from him because he wants to be nice to do that, and I think that's <laughs> awesome. And it also comes along with this book as well. So much more, and we're going to go to a break. When we come back, I want to talk a lot about the, uh, the other things as well that okay. you're going to get out of it. And, uh, again, this book is called The Six Silver Bullets You Need to Grow Any Business Fast, and that's another thing about you. You know, when you think you're hiring a coach, you're like, oh, they're going to draw it out. You <laughs> like to work with people, but you want to make sure that people are willing and able but also that want to work with you now at fast. Not we don't want to do it something that's going to take a long time. Right, uh, and and that's an important distinction. A lot of people um, ask, you know, how long will I work with you? Well, uh, I have clients that have worked with me since the day I started my firm, uh, and others where we have a small engagement with a really distinct outcome. So it's all about you. It's all about what you want to achieve. So if you want something done in a certain area fast, but there's always something. Once you do that, mm -hmm. there's something else that you find, and, and it's wonderful. Again, go to the website. It's makingthecut.biz, and call in here. Our number here is 602-277-5369, and toll-free it's 1-866-536-1100. We're keeping on in here because we're live, okay? Yeah. Yeah? So, so go ahead. No, go something? ahead. You go ahead. Yo. So the other part of the website is, again, there's some calculators in here. Uh, so somebody that wants a lot of information, uh, we have some information resources. We have the ebook, we have the academy, where it's, it's a deeper dive into detailed information. Some business owners and leaders like to get some calculation. They want to quantify things quickly. I've built some of that as well, both in terms of the scorecard, the profit equation calculator. That gives you a, a numerical value for where you are and where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And once you have that 
gap, if you will, the difference between now and where you want to be, then we can come up with an action plan for how you're going to get there. And I want to ask you, because I know I've, I've talked to this about this a lot. When I read your book, we forgot to take it, it takes 23 minutes. 23 minutes. But we want to also, uh, the way I feel when I was reading it, again, like I've said this before, I feel like you're right there with me. And when they're here, do they feel the same? Is it have you gotten that? What is it? The, what's the difference in that way? Or yeah. more, just more tools? It's more tools. It's a deeper dive. Um, it, it's a slightly different take, uh, but it's just a lot deeper. Mm -hmm. Like every, the the book tries to. I try to stay high level to get people engaged. It's some detail, but not as far as an academy. It's not right, a full right. lesson on each Okay. Thing. So yeah, you'll hear me throughout here, um, and, but we're always, like everybody in business, we're experimenting with some AI that, is it picking up some of me, is it making mm -hmm. suggestions, mm -hmm. I take some, I mm -hmm. decline a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, uh, I just, the way I feel is that, and that when, for <clears throat> me, the best part about it, and maybe it's because I know you, mm -hmm. but is that, that you are there speaking to me and, and giving me food for thought in my mind, right. you know what I mean? All yes. the way down the line, all the way down the line, okay. Yeah, it's, it, and that's the intent behind coaching is to be thought provoking uh, in a way that works for you. Again, I'm not, I don't have an agenda for you other than I'm biased that I want you to be successful. That's my agenda. I don't have a specific recipe I want you to follow. We're gonna talk about that, but I also want to talk about people that you work with the, what you what you're looking for too because it has to go together hand in hand right yeah but you are looking for who are serious that mean right. business that it's not about you know well I got this little area that I do you really don't want them to find out what they truly want and how you can help them to be able to grow their business better right right okay that's right here we go <clears throat> So welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Ken Kilday, and he is the owner of Leaders Cut, but he's an executive business coach, a strategist, and he's been doing this for five years. Mm -hmm. Also, he uh, just finished his certificate that he just received, which you say the name of it, I can't. Professional Certified Coach. Oh, that's it? Okay, that's easier. Yeah. From okay. the International Coaching Federation. Yeah, that's part. That's the part that's hard. That's yeah. part. <laughs> and at the break we were talking, I always love to talk longer a little because we are live on Facebook here. Mm -hmm. And um, what I love is is things that I have read. I've read your book, right? Mm -hmm. And we've got to say it, it's 23 minutes, so it's not like it's going to take forever. Right. Uh, and I was telling you how I absolutely love reading it and we've got our lines open here for everyone to get entered into win we're just going to get everybody we want them to have it um because y you feel like you got a ken mm -hmm. sitting right there sort of and i said to you the words i used was giving me food for thought mm -hmm. right and you said that's what you do that's what a coach is is to help you yeah, think you, about things a coach is to help you think about what you want from your business to really to bring clarity and voice to what's been in your head the whole time. Usually when I'm working with people, there I mean, there's a couple of friction points. Uh, th I mean, the story they're telling themselves is they just don't have time for this and, and so on, but when it gets down to it, what what's often happened is is the entrepreneur in particular has, has grown as far as they're gonna go, being the choke point for decisions and thoughts and providing clarity. So I help them get all of that organized so other people can tell the origin story, uh, can, um, can teach others to, to work according to core values and, and work ethics and those sorts of things. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's always focused on the person. It's not some secret recipe I invented that somebody else has to follow my way. It's not my way, it's your way. Uh, I'm just helping you find the clarity that's somewhere in your head. Now, we have our lines open here, and I want you to tell everybody again what they're getting because it's an extensive amount, and it's easier for me to have you tell it sure. than for me to write it and tell it. Yeah. So go ahead. So yeah, callers of, of uh, people that called in on Carol's show today will get um, my ebook. Uh, it takes 23 minutes to read. It's designed for busy business people because you don't have time to read for hours, or so you tell me. 
so I made sure to make this digestible. At makingthecut.biz, if you take a look, you'll um, the ebook is there also. You'll get uh, um, access to the academy for free, so don't pay on the website. Uh, just call into the show, and we'll get you access to that. You'll have um, access to the profit equation calculator, so you can assess uh, quantifiable metrics in your business now, uh, and then see the impact of small improvements across all those uh, metrics. Uh, and then last, you'll also, there's a scorecard at makingthecut.biz, so you can assess just how well your business is doing at the moment from your perspective. So I'm not telling you how it's doing, you're telling yourself how it's doing. And it's phenomenal. And he's giving it to us for free. All you have That's to right. do is call here at 602-277-5369 and toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. You're getting the book too, which is the six silver bullets to grow, To grow. you need to grow any business fast. And I believe that this is something that everyone, I don't care what size, if you're a solopreneur, it doesn't matter. You get something out of it. Every single person will. And mm -hmm. we're going to leave our lines open here for everyone to be able to call throughout the rest of the show. Our number here is 602-277-5369. You can check them out. It's makingthecut.biz. And I wrote something down, and you said something. And you've said it a lot, <laughs> and this is the first time I actually finally wrote it down because it sunk in. Okay. That's the way people are, right? That's, that's, that's right. They hear it a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you say the story you're, and you're talking about everybody else out there, that's us. Yeah. The story, the story we are telling ourselves. That's right. I love that because I know what you mean by it, and I want you to, for people to hear that because we are in our own ways. In what we, yeah. We're in the way of our own self. How's that? Say that better? Yeah, it's a, it's a way, it's another, uh, another way to describe accountability. If I say, hey, Carol, the story I'm telling myself is that uh, you're angry with me because I did, uh, you know, I had to cancel a date, uh, then I'm owning that I'm projecting that. You didn't say anything to me about it. Um, I just made that up in my head. Mm -hmm. And now if I'm owning what I'm saying to myself, then we can have a real conversation because I'm owning my part. Um, and that... Uh, and that's an important part of business is all the people component, the relationship component, the clarity of communication, et cetera. That's a key aspect of business. And people that, uh, the clients that I have, a very good relationship, a lasting relationship, chances are, well not chances are, we, we know that we are aligned philosophically when it comes to the human component of business. So in other words, um, financial is an important part of business. Uh, that's that's profit in the end, but if you match um, people, the relationships with people, whether they're contractors or employees or customers, you match that with a defined process for what you bring in your business that's unique and special, then you get a profit that you can't imagine. A lot of businesses, it's hard to to work through the people issues, so they ignore that and try to make up the profit on process. And um, in my experience, if you can combine the two, and my clients do, they see great success. You know, uh, we have our lines open here. He is offering for everyone that calls in. This is a free, uh, it, it's a way for you to be able to kind of be your own little coach there, sure. right? Yeah. And you have all these tools that you're going to have that he wants you to try and look at. It. And sure. you even talk about how they can even kind of learn a little bit about you. They can call on there from there. They can talk to you a little bit. Email, I guess, is done through that way, or how's that done? It's, it's whatever channel works for you. So throughout my website, throughout the, the, um, the resource hub, throughout the book, there are links. Uh, there's my phone number. You can text me. You can email me. You can call me. You can book an appointment. We'll speak over Zoom. Uh, whatever channel works for you, I'll respond in kind, including there's a chat widget on the main website. That's well. what I thought, too. So, yeah, if you if you reach out, I will answer, but you reach out at, at your pace. Uh, this is not a high-pressure sales. No, I mean, and he's giving it to you for free, so yeah. it's definitely not high-pressure high in pressure. any way. Well, <laughs> when I say high-pressure, sometimes <clears throat> there's a resistance, like, uh, I don't want to call him, I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, you shouldn't, because, first of all, he's phenomenal, and he absolutely is passionate about what he does. Yeah. It's helping other people people succeed. That's, that's right. So, uh, and I do offer a full consultation before you decide if you're going to hire me as a coach. You have to know what that experience is going to be like and if we're going to click 
And if I'm going, if, first of all, do you want a coach and is it going to be me? So uh, you'll appreciate this, Carol, from a, from a professional uh, a professional standpoint of I promise everybody I'm not going to chase you. I won't chase you. All I ask is please don't ghost me. Get, right? Heck yes or heck no. Right. But, uh, but you'll, I'll give you enough information. You will see enough information. And if we get to speak, you'll hear everything you need to hear to make a decision about whether coaching's for you and if I'm that coach. You cannot imagine <coughs> by getting <coughs> excuse me, all of this information, that you, these resources that you're offering, for everyone, as a matter of fact, for free, the academy there, he's saying, do not pay for it. If you call in here yeah. uh, and you hear it through my show, you tell them that you heard it or you call me direct and you're getting that for free. This is phenomenal for anyone who is in business. Mm -hmm. Anyone, again, small, medium size, if you're an entre uh, just a solopreneur, it's for everyone. Our number here is 602-277-5369. Before we go to a break, I want you to kind of sort of help people understand when they come to you. I mean, I guess the, I always ask this question. I mean, they're going to always have that one thing that they have, and we've talked about it quite a bit. That they're, What does it look like when people usually call you and they start to talk to you and tell them that they're, what they're dealing with? It, it's unique to them, of course. Uh, usually what happens is um, we talk about something that's on the surface, and then we start to dig down because I have a lot of questions. And um, my goal is to, is to get you to tell me your story, whatever that story is. Why did you start business? What, is, what are your hopes for the business? Um, I'm fascinated with business. I've always been fascinated with it. Um, and entrepreneurs in particular have a special place in my heart because they had a new take on an old business usually, and I love hearing that origin story. Once we start there, then the thing that you're concerned about inevitably surfaces and then we can talk about that. <clears throat> and when we come back we're also going to talk about time because that's another thing <laughs> mm -hmm. the number one question and the number one thing that you're told is about time and mm -hmm. we're going to talk a bit about that too and I also want to kind of anything you want to talk about I want I want you to be able to get out because it's important we're here today he's here to help people help people grow their business help them grow any business fast but also some of the different things on that five what is it I had I just saw it there again five steps to freedom five steps to freedom I would love we're going to talk about that when we come back too okay. because there are so many things that he has he does what he does and he perfects himself throughout the time he just did it recently so that he can be his best for you and I love that about you and you are passionate about it so uh, and you, again any size business it doesn't matter and it, he's offering it for free for everybody so if you call me our number here is 602-277-5369 toll free is 1-866-536-1100 and it's, the website is makingthecut.biz we're going to keep on going, okay? Yes, I had forgotten the right. I have it down here, so I'm back on this page. Okay, yeah. I mean, for you, uh, it's all about those five steps, mm -hmm. right? And it has to start on the beginning there, I think, though. Do you agree? Well, um, that may not be where people are hiring me. Um, sometimes we're, you know, we're over here on expansion. Mm, that's and, true. And getting, okay. It's just, they may get, I may get stuck <clears throat> at any step. Uh, I may... You know, I may have gotten stuck for a while in chaos, but that doesn't mean pe that's not necessarily where people are hiring me. Sometimes they're starting to see them, they're getting bounced between two steps. They start to see some real profitability and then it backs off again, and then real profitability and backs off again. Mm -hmm. And we dig in and maybe we see turnover. Are people still having a hard time retaining their, cl their um, uh, employees? Uh, I think they're is hiring is always they're getting plenty of applicants that has definitely shifted are the applicants staying because that's where I find where somebody is in business they now hire people right and they're yeah. starting to feel like they can now do what they want to do is break away a little bit and do more what they do best mm -hmm. right and then all of a sudden now this one left and then oh my god here we go again I got to train again or whatever. yeah there's <coughs> there's some degree of tur there's always turnover right and I think that's the fallacy is is for example people will say oh well you know I'm really looking for somebody I want to hire somebody maybe a little younger maybe not our age Carol maybe they want to hire them 10 10 or so years younger yeah 
because they'll quote stay longer. They don't. No, I think that's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I there's a I think it's HBR, Harvard Business Review article. Not too long ago, I sent it to one of my clients and said, Hey, if you really want people to stick around, hire somebody who's older. They they have different they, values. They have different values. Mm -hmm. They you may invest a little more in training. And they will stay longer. You'll never have to Loyal ask them where too. they are. They won't be late. Mm -hmm. uh, they take accountability. They do their thing. And, mm -hmm. and the thing is, for a lot of people in their 50s plus, um, they've already done the career thing. They want something they can be really good at and nurture and mentor others to do mm -hmm. the same. They're valuable employees. So I think there's some, it's not, it's not one trend of keeping people. It's getting clear about who you're trying to hire mm -hmm. and letting go of the of these notions that we have that we're going to hire a young person and they're going to stay forever because I think some of that is <clears throat> I'm going to hire a young person, train them once, I don't have to worry about training ever again. It's not how people work, mm -hmm. right? The issue is are they leaving because they didn't get to do something more interesting, you put them in a role they told you they didn't want. That's yes, important to it. talk, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, because I think that a lot of times you think that they're leaving because okay they got more money over here or there's an some kind of incentive to be mm -hmm. somewhere else. Yep. But um, I think that, like you said, uh, what wh where did you put them? You might have put them in the wrong place in the first yeah. place, huh. which yeah. makes so much sense. Yep. I don't know. We're yeah. gonna talk about that. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna first talk about time a little bit and stuff, and then I'm gonna do two. And then three, if we have time, I got it down. We have a lot. Of, we have I was gonna say, I thought we had three more minutes, right? On that one? No, till we come back. Oh no, I don't know about that. Let's just it's keep fine, on going. Just keep I'm not sure. We'll keep on talking. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's an important thing. And when people, uh, again, I think what happens is we get in a groove, right? And especially the owner, they get into the groove of doing what they do and then they get distracted, right, with uh, so much. When you talked about chaos, there's the number two is yeah. chaos, right? And that's that I think happens throughout. And it's, is it how you handle it or how does that, how do you deal with the chaos? Sure. Well, chaos can be a catalyst for an owner, right? They're, they're driving through, chaos okay, is okay, invigorating. Uh, but when you're bringing other people into your organization, that's not, that's not a draw, right? That might be inspiring for the owner because that chaos means activity, means profit. Okay. It's theirs. Mm -hmm. They own it. That. Mm -hmm. So that, that whole, uh, there's another paradox of when my owners say, I wish everyone had the ownership mindset. Why? They're not owners. Right? That's. No, well, that's another good point. They, they're just, they're not owners. They they're don't not have in your ca yeah. capacity or cal caliber or whatever you would call that. And and you don't need them to be for them to be phenomenal participants in the organization. And you'd like it. <laughs> Maybe. Always good answer. Cal <laughs> got something to Now that was sounded like you for a second. That was you for a minute ago. Mm. I'll ask him. So welcome back, and we are talking with Ken Kilday. He is an executive coach, a business strategist, owner of Leaders Cut, and uh, we've been sitting here talking to Facebook land. I absolutely love when we do that because <laughs> these, these interviews go a li little bit longer, and I learn so much. Um, we're just coming back from a big break, so I'm going to also let you again tell what you're doing for everybody as a giveaway, and uh, listen up, everyone. I don't care who you are. If you're in business, if you own a business, if you are, uh, if just do something out of your house. It doesn't really matter any size. You will get something out of this tremendously. It'll come back tenfold to you. Just little things that you take from it. Go ahead. Yeah, so callers of the show, callers to the show today will get access to the academy that we've built uh, it, in our in our resource hub at making the cut at making the cut dot biz. Uh, you'll get access to the academy, so don't, don't pay there. Just call don't into pay the anything. show, and, mm -hmm. and uh, Carol will take care of you. 
Uh, you also get on the on the resource hub. You also get the profit equation worksheet, so you can see the the huge impact that small changes make in in every element, every measurable element of your business. You'll see the um, there's a scorecard, so you you business leader can assess where you are in business and where you'd like to be, and then come up with. Uh, which resources are going to have the big impact for you. My ebook is there. The ebook takes 23 minutes to read, and then we'll sign you up for the e-coaching series, uh, 23 emails that come about every three days, and uh, put those in a folder and access them as needed. All along the way, you can, uh, you can text me, call me, uh, use the chat widget on the main site, and contact, and I'll respond in whatever channel you want me to. So, uh, if, you know, if you're like my sister, if you like to text, don't worry, I'm not going to call you if you text me. If you text me, that's how I'm responding. And all of this for free. All of it for free. And that's huge. So we've got our lines open here for everyone to call throughout the rest of the show. And our number here is 602-277-5369. And toll free is 1-866-536-1100. The website is makingthecut.biz. Mm-hmm. i got to go, there's a couple things, measure, because... You know, I want to say something. Um, I know when I do, like, like for let's say, I, even me, I want to measure myself, right? And I think about how many calls did I make that week, that day, to get that deal or whatever that is. Sure. Everybody ever tried anything like that? It's amazing what it does for you. And the little just tracking yourself is the same as measuring. I'm a seeming, and yeah, right. Well, it, it is having a, a real, honest, straightforward safe conversation with yourself, uh, you know, early, early on in my financial services career when I was building a book of business, one of our sales managers would say, you know, it's, it's, it's not just making the dials, it's making the dials to people that can actually do business with you. To differentiate, you know, you can, I can call mom a hundred times in a day, but that's not the same as a hundred. Every calls. time I say so, you use, and then when you say it, it's like he's so right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's it's quality, not quality. Just the, that makes so so right. much sense because, but how do you get the quality? You have to fi- you have to do the work. You have right to do the you have to do the work, and um, I think people. So let's talk about time. People say I don't have enough time, but when I, I dig to, yes. in. Right. Uh, part of it is cultural. We reward people. We reward people who they're here before everyone else and stay later than everyone else. Well, let's reverse that and say, okay, so it's taking them 60 hours to do a 40-hour job. Why? Mm-hmm. Like we're rewarding the physical presence, not the quality of the output. Mm-hmm. So business owners, I have the same conversation. Uh, right. Like treat it, treat it like a sport. You have X number of minutes to complete and win. Period. And if you start to create uh, bookends for yourself, you'll you'll figure out uh, what choices you're making that are dragging some things out, um, and then you can just be really accountable to yourself of just understand every step of the way you're choosing. Everybody has the same number of hours. Some people are better with it than others, and that means if if I can see someone else is better at it, I can be better at it. We've got our lines open here, and everyone gets a little bit of Ken, <laughs> which I love that, and you know. I'm saying that in a funny way, but you really do. And even the access to him, whether it's text or call or whatever, he wants an email. He wants to connect with you and help you grow your business. He's offering all of these different uh, resources that are right here on your, they'll be on your computer. Mm-hmm. And you can, you know, do a little bit. You don't have to start at the beginning. You could start where you are ready to, right? Yeah. Yeah, you may need one one lesson out of 21, and that's the thing that is it's going to click for you when you read it, uh, and, and I hope it does. Um, so I, I think there's an imputed question of why am I giving it all away? Because um, because this will first of all it will help you, and and if there's something in there that can help a newer business owner in particular get over the hump and stick with it and, and get to uh, what you always thought it was going to be, good, good on you. Uh, I know I certainly got a lot of help along the way, and um, also along the way, if if I'm the one that you're going to work with, uh, we're going to start in a really positive way. Where I'm going to, uh, there's a, a book from Patrick Lencioni. Uh, funny enough, it's called Getting Getting Naked, 
and it's about being transparent. I love it. People. Am I writing that one it's, down? It's a really, really good book. I bet. And it's it's being real. Yeah, rolling out the red carpet, and, and I'm showing you everything that I have. And that's no what's secrets. great. Yeah. Right. It, this is this is a little bit of him and getting to know you. It's really mm -hmm. getting to know you. Yes. And if you want to, you can you know, text him if you want to have a uh, consultation with him. You can if you and you find out. Are we the right fit? Yes. Right. You know, it, and people ask. A, it's a reverse question. It's, it reminds me of my old role, um, way back when I had financial planning clients. They want to know what the return is. Well, I can tell you what the ROI on coaching is is five to seven times in my industry. Five to seven times against your fee is what you're going to find in your business, uh, in promotions and salary and bonuses and profit and so on. Uh, my clients usually see a 10x after a year, but that's not the most important part. The reason they're seeing a result is because they're taking a lot of action and, and not huge steps. It's small changes that make a big difference that are specific to you. I'm not yeah. telling you. I'm helping you find your own your own secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. So if you go up onto the website, which is makingthecut.biz, uh, don't pay for the academy mm -hmm. because he's offering for everyone for it to have this, the, all of the resources, the academy and everything for free by calling me. Uh, our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. We're going to keep our lines open here so everyone can keep on calling throughout the show. Before we go, you talked a little bit about time, which thank you for that. But I had to talk about chaos because I had said to you at, at the break, we were talking about how a business owner, they get in their groove, they start going, they're doing their thing, but the chaos keeps on coming at us. It's like it's like it keeps on flashing yeah. in our face, and how do you get away from it? And what did you say? Well, chaos may um, it may keep you good or bad. It could be good or bad. It may motivate you, the business owner, and part of that again is is a story in our in our society, right? The Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, the grind guy. Um, and uh, but why is it a grind? I mean, maybe it's maybe you're doing what you love and you have a unique idea and it's a lot of fun. And if it is for you and it feels easy because you're in flow, let it, let it be easy. Like, let, let that be okay. Um, and chaos may be a motivator for you and that's okay too, but it may not be a motivator for people that want to come to work for you. That, that may not be a good And that's a good place to stop because mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to go to a break, but let me tell you something. We're going to talk a little bit about employees too. Mm -hmm. And we all of our, uh, the business owners, we get mad at those employees sometimes, right? Without that person they've had, and then yeah. they left, they left. But you know what? We're going to talk a bit about what he said, and I'm not, I'm going to keep you hanging on that <laughs> one because it was interesting also mm -hmm. what you said about business owners and their employees. So uh, again, we want people to have all of these uh, different resources that he has in one place for everybody there. We're going to talk about also uh, the silk, the five uh, steps to freedom. We're going to go into that a little bit further. I know we've been talking a little bit about it as well. Um, so we've got our lines open here. Do not pay for the Academy because he's offering it for free for everybody that calls me. And our number here is 602-277-5369. And toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. I don't care what size business you have. Even if you're an entrepreneur or just solopreneur like me, you should have this. Everyone should. 602-277-5369. Okay, so when we come back, I want to talk about the employees, employees. again, right? Yeah. And I also, uh, oh, here I wrote it over here. Um, I think, oh uh, no. Okay. Is there any way that you can stay more closer to the mic? Because you're like literally everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. 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 It might so. be my fault because he's oh, okay. talking to me. Okay, that's okay. okay. We'll yeah, just put okay. it right in front of you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, what was it that I was going to say? I lost my train of thought. Um, employees. It was employees. Hiring, but putting in roles they don't want. Um. It went. Um, let me think. You know, okay, we'll talk about then going from further. It'll come back, okay? Uh, out of the five steps to freedom, okay? Uh, we had talked a little bit about you may not be coming in at the first step. You might be coming oh, in, yeah. but we want to talk a little bit about that. Um, can I want to ask you something. Can people really, truly get to freedom? 
if they want to. Okay. It's the same thing. If chaos is your motivator, that scares the hell out of you. Okay. Because. But everybody says they want that. They say they want that, but their behavior says they love that. Okay. Because this requires delegation. Okay, so okay, you can't I understand be, that. Right? If 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 you are the end all be all for every decision, you can't get to freedom because you're doing it all yourself. Right. Well, that's true. You're you you're so busy with here, these two. Right? And even you may even get right to the border, but now you can't um, it's it's switching hats, right? It's um, if I'm the am I Am I the doctor, or am I running a medical practice? Those are two hats. Mm -hmm. One is delivering the service, one is running the practice. Mm -hmm. Those are two skills. And people do that a lot. I yes. mean, I know that a lot of us, and I'll use me as an example, I mean, I'm the chief cook and bottle washer. Yes. And I, even though I had that, I hired somebody, um, but they ended up not staying. They were through three years I had her, mm -hmm. and then she left. Uh, because she has, she's moving. Sure. So okay, but when you're doing it out of home and stuff like that, it's way harder too. Because it's like, where do you put? What you don't just want to bring anyone in. So, and I, that's the chaos to me. I like certain chaos. I like the chaos that creates that. You know, yeah. right? But then right. The, that other, that these other things start happening, and you're like, okay, I can't do what I do best. I can't do what I love to do. Sure. Right. Well, and, and there's a there's a systemic thing there too. Uh, we treat sales like an ongoing process for all businesses, but hiring, it's like we start from scratch every time. Welcome back. We are talking with Ken Kilday. We've been live on Facebook to everybody. It's a hi out there. We have been talking on the break to uh, Facebook land, and you know we're talking about growing your business. And mm -hmm. you know if you a lot of people don't realize that. Almost everyone could use a coach. Some people are coachable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some people are not. Some people will drive with you. Some people won't. But everyone can drive, I think, with what you've offered for them, the resources. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's designed to meet you where you are and then uh, help you through a process of find your awareness of what stage are you in, what stage do you want to be in. So Carol was asking me about stages, like where do people hire me and what in their in the various stages. They hire me in, in multiple stages. They're not in multiple stages. People come to me in various states of the business. And part of that is whatever state of awareness they're in for the role they're playing for the state they're in. So for example, uh, one of my long-term clients, uh, executive leader, still it's ownership, right? There's an equity ownership stake in the company. Uh, but he'd come to the realization he was producing number results, but still wasn't getting pro wasn't getting promoted. Therefore, there must be something else there. That's an awareness. He came to his own awareness and knew that he was going to need some help to move through it, and um, and then change behaviors. Uh, and now, four years later, there's a few promotions in there because he did the hard work of practicing every single day. I love day. what you just said. You know, awareness. Mm -hmm. It is all about that. All about that. <laughs> Number one thing is being aware of that there might be a problem. Sure. Right? Being yeah, that there's a problem and that you play a role in it. That's big. Yeah. That is huge. That you p accepting that you play a role in it. That's sure. huge. And we were going to talk about this, and it's a perfect place to do that, and that is employees. Yes. Because there you go. There go you ahead. go. It's the, the, um, so the way I hear, the, the way it's spoken to me is, Oh my God! I just can't keep these people. Just leave. They just leave. They get they, up and leave. They just abandon me. Well, they don't own the thing, so they get to do that. And maybe they were in a role that was not very interesting to them anymore. They were good at it. They told you they were just in other things, and maybe you said, "I just I don't have anyone else can, that can do what you do." So you left them in the role they were in. They found something else they wanted to do. And now you're still out that person. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I take a, I have a different take on employees in that if somebody isn't working in, working out in my business, any business that I've ever run, um, either I made a poor hiring choice, I made a poor development choice, somewhere in there uh, I had, I participated. 
and I always want to uncover if there was something I could learn from it or, and do better the next time, and therefore I help my clients too as well. If you, it's that whole sense of ownership. You own the business. People are part of your processes. So all businesses have a sales component. We're selling something, a product or service, and we have a, pro a, a never-ending process for that. But when it comes to hiring, we often don't have a process for that. We, we, we kick it off from ground zero when somebody leaves. I, if you had been looking to recruit quality talent the whole time, you would have a Rolodex, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, of people that you've had your eye on that you'd love to be part of your organization. Mm -hmm. right? you don't pl people are going to come and go, and even in your evolution of growing the, the business, you'll hire five and keep three. You'll hire two and keep one. Mm -hmm. And you sometimes lose people you never expected to, and sometimes people that you thought were going to stop by stay 25 years. Mm -hmm. It's the nature of business. The one thing that you said that I, I wanted to talk about real quickly is that you might have put them, you said that they, uh, you as an owner, you might have put them in the wrong place. Like yeah. in the place they may not, you know, you hired them for something, but maybe they were should have been in a different area. It's, um, and, and motivation counts, right? I, the easy thing to say, oh, well, they left for more money. Uh, saying someone left for more money is, is, the, is akin to saying you don't have time. Those are cop-outs. Um, money is not a motivator. It's a satisfier per Dan Pink. If you read the book Drive, he's the quintessential expert on motivation. Money is not a motivator uh, like it may have been we in the think industrial so. age. Yeah, we think it is. Uh, you know, Dan would, would say business denies what science knows. It's not a motivator. So if you pay, if you double their pay and treat them badly, they will still leave. Hmm. And in the modern era, uh, even those who get workplace flexibility, they um, they will they would take a pay cut rather than have to go to an office to sit in front of a computer there instead of sitting in front of their computer home. So you know businesses coming up with their own story of well it's good for collaboration this that and the other maybe is my answer maybe it is maybe it isn't uh, but it isn't it isn't a universal truth. Mm -hmm. And I want you to again tell everybody just a little before we go a little bit about you too, then how you work with people and what that looks like, and then uh, we want to talk about the um, uh, the resources again and how you're offering that so that we they can hear that one more time before we go. Go ahead. Sure. So um, I I meet with my clients weekly. We do an hour coaching session each week. Um, in, a, in at the beginning of our engagement, we come up with what are the what would you like to achieve through coaching. What are we going to get better at, or improve, or through, et cetera? Uh, I also will. There's all sorts of. of uh, we use some tools. I use the Talent Dynamics Profiling System. Um, I'm a P. I'm a PQ coach, so we use some positive intelligence. We assess your self-sabotaging behaviors so that we can get to the heart of what may be standing in your way. Uh, I am accessible, so yes, we have a weekly coaching session, but my clients all know they can. Uh, give me a quick text, call, email. I, I'm responsive to them because there are, are things that bubble up in between our sessions. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say there's an abundance of flexibility in how we design your coaching program to support you. So. And he's offering all of these resources, the book and all of the different uh, uh, what you call them now here. Uh, yeah, the you get the 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 um, resource hub at makingthecut.biz. You get the ebook. The e coaching series that comes after the ebook. You get the scorecard right on the site so you can assess where you are in the business. You have access to the academy. If you call into Carol's show, don't pay online, call into the show. You'll get it free. You free, get free, free, free. And then there's the profit equation calculator, and that will help you, that will visually demonstrate the quantifiable metrics in your business and how small changes. Over, uh, applied consistently over time, produce massive results. Every single one of these are going to help you grow. They're going to give you. They're going to help you be more aware. Mm -hmm. I think that's the big thing. That's it's right. also being more aware, and on top of that, you have access to Ken. You have the book. It takes 23 minutes to read, and you even that you can read it the way you want. You mm -hmm. know, uh, which I also love. There's templates in there. There's all sorts of things that you get, and it's almost like having you right there in the room with you. Uh, but also also the e uh, the emails that you're going to get all of those uh, you have every few days all of that and you can also actually contact and even ask Ken 
questions. All of this is for free to you or to anyone that you know. So our number here is 602-277-5369. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go like that for a second. And the five steps to freedom, let's just give them all of them right now. Sure, the five steps to freedom when we, first of all, we create the business, then we're in a bit of chaos as we try to get it off the ground. Maybe we're not making quite as much money as we'd like, to, as we'd like or any money. Uh, as a lot of us experience, at least when we first launched. At least it takes a few years, doesn't right? it? it? It does. It does, especially if, if you're in the middle of COVID. Uh, and then you continue to expand. You get a little control over the finances. You start to see some prosperity. Now you're cooking with gas, mm -hmm. as Dad would say. And then you get to freedom, where you, you have some choices to sell the business, pass the business off, uh, take some money out of it. Um, sell it to your employees. There's lots of things you can do with your business. And you also have, we've started, a, we've not uh, talked about this in a while. In the book, you talk about even ha b from the beginning, mm -hmm. if you're just creating a business, start with the end in mind mm -hmm. and even have an exit tr uh, strategy before you even start. That's right. That, uh, that's another thing that he helps with. Go ahead. It, yeah, it's y how you craft the business, how you run the business, um, how you develop the team members in your business has a lot to do with what do you want to do with the business. Um, part of that is from my own philosophy, my experience in financial services way back when I used to write plans long before I ran branches and businesses and such. It was, um, you know, if you're going to have three kids, I want to know that you're going to do that and what school they're going to now, even though they don't even exist yet, because we can plan for that. Mm -hmm. So again, having that future a vision in mind that we can execute on the vision. And the most important thing is that all of this you can get right on the website mm -hmm. and by going to makingthecut.biz. And when you get to the Academy, please do not pay for it because he's offering that for free for the people that call in mm -hmm. to the show. And uh, our number here is 602-277-5369 and toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. Uh, I also wrote this down before that you had said, coaching self-directed which is sort of like taking this and using it and directing it for yourself, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, and doing it at your pace? Doing it at your that pace, yeah. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. Choose your own adventure. Choose where you start, what you need, you decide. And um, and when it's time, when it's time to engage with me, then engage. And you want to see what the difference is between self-guided and coach-guided, you can experience that. I have to tell you, when you do these small changes as he's talking about, Every, any single one of them, you will see a difference. You absolutely mm -hmm. will see a difference, and it's going to make a big impact, and that's what he's all about. And he's also helping everyone out there with all of his resources, getting to know Ken, basically, mm -hmm. by getting to know what he offers, but also having it at your disposal, having him at your disposal. And it, our, we're just going to let everyone call. Let's keep on calling here. And if you get to the Academy uh, part, please do not pay for it, because he is offering it for free if you call me. So our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's one 866 Five three six eleven hundred. Go to the website. It is makingthecut.biz.